Stop acting like you know the way ahead, like you know the rules. There are no rules, man. We're lost. Uh huh. I know what you came here for. You came here for that technique story mode, and don't worry, bro. I get it. Jin Kazama is swerving up and down the city streets. What is he doing? He's looking for his dad, the devil, literally. If you don't know the lore, you have got to catch up, brother. So Jin spots him in a helicopter and in a split second decides that he's going to drive his motorcycle up a building. Listen, listen. Get some hang time and use his momentum to throw his bike at his father's chopper. Ah! My headphones are already off. The PS5 is in rest mode. Five seconds haven't gone by and they are already insulting my intelligence. It gets crazier. Jin looks at the blaze while mewing. I see it. Kazuya then steps out of the flames, starts mocking Jin for being in hiding and starting World War 3. It was a mistake though. He didn't mean it, I'm sure. Tekken 6 was so crazy. You had to be there. Jin says that the only reason he started the war was to cleanse the world of this demon blood in their system. And that was enough to start the clash. I got cooked out there. Yes, Jin is one of my mains, but they switched so many things around. Now he has like devil slashes and Stuff. I don't know what this is. I'm, I'm confused, but let me cook. A missile falls right in the middle of the fight and Jin gets off his game. Kazuya tries to take advantage, but I dodged that and got Grandpa out the way. And then I even managed to clutch the battle from near death. I told you, put me on the can. They call me Chef Boy RD. Kazuya tries to strike back, but Jin starts having a, a trip down memory lane. And that either means two things in anime. Either the main character is cooked, or the villain is about to see Michael Jackson perform live. And luckily, it's the latter. Jin knocks his father into the air, summons half of his devil powers, and rushes in with a move that I've only ever seen the Flash pull off. That is two. Two Speed Force Steelers on this channel now. But Kazuya, big body, gets up and says, I eat those. Let me see the devil get to the room. Real. And you can tell Kazuya just sunned him because Jin immediately rushes into devil form and knocks that man back. And now I am even more confused. Usually I am garbage when it comes to the Mishima style, but here I am playing with it better than I am playing with base Jin. It might not look like much, but I'm telling you, I short circuit when it comes to these characters. I shouldn't even be moving. So Jin flies into the air right and uses his telekinetic carry powers to summon up cars and eat them at his legacy. He's not done. Powers up and blasts his father, sending the shockwave through the screen. He's still not done. He grabs Kazuya by his devil dome and slams his flailing body into a building and then he drags it all the way up there bro he drags him into the sky it just started it just started starts beaming back down at record speeds and then he crashes kazuya's body into another building goes down level by level but somehow some way during this obliteration kazuya makes a recovery in his semi devil form whatever they call this so now they're clashing around in the sky going back and forth eventually kazuya knocks jin back to street level and they start a beam blast with jin being knocked down into the mud i am in way too deep to lose now i flip on those special styles you can get mad all you want to i never claim to know these combos i have not and may never know what is going on in these fighting games matter of fact in fact, I'm still getting cooked, but then I won and still lost because Jin gets comboed and thrown into the level border. Oh no. Now Kazuya is floating above, literally saying, mm, that's it. Still can't fight, still can't save your mom, and the world is still finished. Jin is in his head like, nah he right and starts having flashbacks of ogre and then he rages out and beams kazuya he dodges rushes into the sky and ill seeing devil Jin without the gauntlets is like seeing sonic without shoes do not look that up and from here is a straight massacre on Jin's end he is just up here getting packed up brother look at it five games of build up for this oh no nah. Kazuya is so hyped over his victory that he then starts live streaming to the entire world. Ha <laughs> ha it's me, the devil. Just ruined another city, none too crazy. You know, I think it's time for a worldwide reset. A world where only the strong survive. Yeah, I'ma do that. And this psycho beams multiple satellites that are miles apart in space. This accuracy is insane. And then the debris starts falling from space as bro announces the King of Iron Fist Tournament 8. And we see all the past fighters thirsty to enter and lose again? Like, for real, it's been like 8 tournaments. Why are you all still showing up? This makes no sense. But while that's happening, Jin is underwater doing the anime character thing with his sleep paralysis demon. So basically, Jin is at the absolute end of his rope. Bro has been trying to cleanse the world of the demons and his awful family since the end of Tekken 3. He went as far as starting World War 3 on a hunch that killing this demon would take his powers away. And it didn't work. At all. Not even a little bit. He started World War 3 for nothing. He has got to feel terrible. And now there's no more demons to punch. No more family to throw off a cliff. And he's not beating Kazuya. You just saw how that went. So what do we do?
So after all that, right, Jin now lives with his adoptive uncle and his actual uncle, half uncle. I don't know, brother. This this tree is terrible. But a couple of things are happening right now. After that fight, Jin has lost a good chunk of his power. I think um infamous to beginning of the game right the beast straight up zaps everything out of coal that's kind of what happens here and now that brother can't activate his demon powers which means a good chunk of like the move list is kind of gone which is okay with me because i didn't know how to use any of that right Jin is in a hole so big that he can't even train by himself without almost passing out to look at this Alyssa, the robot if she throws her head off at some point she's a robot just go with it it's Tekken. but Alyssa, the robot has to go down there to make sure that he is good bro i'm just like hitting the, the stance like damn i'm saying though we used to be kings but she starts giving him this heartwarming speech about the world needing him and not giving up but listen bro i got i got three things one it is actually really nice to finally see these characters that i've known about for years actually interact none of the other games have a story mode you're not gonna get me bro you're not gonna you're i'm not i'm not going for it brother i'm not two he started world war three i'm gonna keep bringing it up i'm gonna keep bringing it up but i rock with Jin. he is literally me but in what world is he not in chains they should be pointing a gun to his dome saying beat kazuya or you're done brother not sending the attractive russian robot down there to cheer him up like bro in three look at that take a picture write it down send your send your grandparents a postcard remember it but after this little hype up speech Jin finds lars and lee and uh, he wants to go join the tournament in the hopes that he'll get his powers back at some point and lars is like okay that's cool we move it on so next we see a Jin. bro has just won a match and is winded i can't believe this like what is he doing why is he walking with a lip don't don't do this don't do it but as he's walking through the hall though he meets my star in the sky the white of my eye reina yes brother i absolutely hate Tehachi, and he is finally dead bro i am two-stepping on his grave dead gone and dusted and guess who took his spot and she is not hard to play this right here is an honorary s rank character you are not on the team you just got here though but s rank nonetheless and wait a minute what is this new gin walk gang but reyna was spitting a bunch of nonsense about winning the next match and doing her best yada 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 what the hell is a senpai oh crap she won and so did how rang Huawang, that one guy. But more importantly, sadly, I have to give reyna the business. I am out there going crazy, bro. This is nothing but light work. <laughs> There is no way she is going to hit the Heihachi emote too. Talking about, ah ha ha, you looking scared, seeing ghosts. No, I'm seeing a glorified premiere skin. Injustice too. She rushes Jin and starts knocking him back a bit, launching us into the next round. And I'm not gonna hold you, I almost lost everything for the world to see, but alas, we ball. Reina charges and rushes Jin again, landing a hit square on his face, but Jin said, Bro, you better like, check. there we go. You do something. There we go. Equal rights. Equal lefts? You won't believe how Reyna responds. Ouchie wouchie, I surrender pretty please. She actually said that. It's right there. What is she talking about? Ouchie wouchie, what does that mean? And now we don't even get a moment to think before. I can't say his name. Him, him. He hops the gate demanding a fight. And I'm gonna be honest. Skip. I do not care. I have never understood their, their rivalry. That man just popped up in Tekken 5 one day and we're just all supposed to accept it. Oh wait, no, he was in Tekken 4. But even there, who cares? I don't know him. I don't know him. Then we see Kazuya being the devil. I don't care. We then cut to, to Shao Yu. I can't. I can't say these names, bro. I've never actually tried to say them out loud. How do you say this right here? Shao Yu. Okay. Okay. You know what? Skip the whole part. <laughs> Oh, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Their entire plot line is unnecessary. It's just her, the bear, and... Oh. My. Hello. You. Caught you liking, caught you liking. You thought you thought you were safe. <laughs> Alright, so for now, I'm just gonna call them Team B. Team B's entire focus is to find Jin. That is all. You will see why I don't care in a second. So Reyna was recruited to help fight Kazuya, and not just her, Leo and whoever that guy is too. They are on board. They are ready to fight for truth, justice, and the American way. But this simple introduction turns into a whole fight because Leo thinks he's Goku. They are fresh, fresh off the plane. Brother takes one look at Jin and says, oh, he's the chosen one. He must be strong. In my head, I'm like, no we just met what do you what do you mean stop 
Stop! But Jin just puts his hands up, doesn't dare open his mouth lest he stops mewing for one split second, one second that it would take to tell bro to chill out. And now look at this, we are upside down, toes damn near touching the health bar, and I died a bunch because what is he doing out there? I can't keep up! If that robot is watching us down here, I'm going to tweak out. Cut to the next scene. What is this? No, no, no. They are not on the team. Anyone except Lars and Alyssa that are post T5 gotta hit the door. What are you- what? what, what, what? If y'all don't get Eddie Gordo and his generic haircut in this room, like, uh, where's the OGs at? Where, where's everybody at? Uh, I'm sorry we failed you. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. So they start talking about Azazel, the history of the devils and all that, and how evil Kazuya is, and then it happens. Leo starts talking about how he didn't feel evil forces and corruption from Jin's fists. Huh? So over the course of the game, people will continuously tell Jin how they feel he isn't evil by the way that he beats them to a pulp. And then they do this thing where they where they grab his hand. It is so out of nowhere. Now, I recorded myself with a mic playing this game, and I didn't know that this was a major plot thing at first. So I responded accordingly. That's, that's, that's gay. I'm not gonna hold you. We just met. And then Reyna is looking crazy in the back, obviously plotting. There's no one else in the room looking at her right now. What is happening? The last few minutes have been insane. And then they make a callback to the Heihachi Mashima is dead moment. I don't know how I feel about this. It's not good. So then we get to the next rounds in the tournament. We see Lily and Asuka, Asaka, Asu Awashaka, Awaraka, Ab Abaka. Asuka is Jin's cousin or whatever. She's one of my favorite characters to play, but I have no idea what point she serves. I don't I don't think her and Jin have ever said a word to each other or acknowledge their existence. It's like they have the same last name for no reason. But she and Lily are arguing and that's supposed to be their thing, I guess. We really need more story focused Tekken games. It's, this is so weird. I've known about these characters for years. But like I said, this is the first time we were ever seeing them interact outside of beating each other in some sort of dank alleyway. But then Huarang is up there too. They're all watching the finalists of the tournament. Here they all are, of course, the GOAT, Steve Fox, a character that annoys me. A filler spot could have gone to Armor King or Miguel, but that's cool. My GOAT, Leroy, Solid Snake, and Lily, and a bunch of other guys. But look, I am about to get decimated. Nothing of what you're about to see is indicative of me as a person. <sighs> that's what I get, bro. Here we go with the shenanigans. Here we go with the shenanigans. The shenanigans, can I play? <laughs> it took me like 10 tries to get past King. I don't know what his problem is. Like somebody really sat there and wrote these 15 minutes of grabs into his code. Like that's crazy. But after that, we have a bunch of fights that I don't care about. Uh, let's just skip to the end. Jin is walking out the Coliseum. And one thing I just noticed is that at several points in the story, People are actively cheering for the guy that started World War 3. So Jin and Leroy start talking, and Leroy thanks Jin for standing against his father, and tells him to believe in himself. And Jin is still mad unconfident because his demon powers have yet to come back. But Leroy is like, I know you can do it. Show me your heart and soul, your strength. And then proceeds to do this to me. Bro, I know he's about to do something crazy like as soon as I unpress his button, broke his- When, when did you get that? Where? How? Jesus! What are you doing? Now apparently Leroy was a very problematic character in the Tekken 7 space and I was viciously unaware. I was not familiar with your game. But somehow I managed to escape this this obvious hate crime. Leroy gets up, dusts off, talking about Hmm, seems like you lost some of your power, huh? Jin just said that. That's literally what he told you before the fight, before the pummeling. Does beating on the defenseless give you dementia or something? Now now Jin's killing me. Says, Oh no, how how did you know that? It must be me. I must be going off the deep end. And Leroy does the same thing that Alyssa and Leo did. Talking about I can sense you are through the fist. You're a good person. You're a good guy. Can y'all stop? <laughs> can I get a chance to catch up for one second? No. Leroy then unleashes this anime Bruce Lee combo upon me. Who's gonna tell him that Jin's the main character? This is not your game. Had Jin on threes, huffing and puffing. Bro had to get up and believe in his heart. You know what? I don't care. D do whatever it takes to get me out of this situation. <laughs> Look at this. Peep the vertical and Jin's back is no different from the letter F. But get back was upon us. Launch that man in the air and no devil powers. I don't care. Knocked him back. Jin hops up and folds that man midair. Black history month is over. The man gets up saying, you beat me with your heart. Good job. I mean, if that's what we're calling special styles, then I I'm down. Kazuya comes out the cut and starts giving a bunch of hubbub. I'm not even gonna try to explain or decipher what his evil plan is. Cause he keeps not killing the one person in this entire universe who can actually stop him. Like all that yip yap means nothing if there's a gun to your head ready to go off at a moment's notice. But look at this, Team B arrives. I forgot about them, like why are they running here in a hurry? The, the tournament has a clear start and end date, they could've you know, made plans ahead. And it's not just them that showed up, it is Lars and everybody, the army, everybody. Everybody. Yet they all fail horrendously. Zafina and Team B rush off to Jin, but she gets absolutely hunted by Kazuya. Brother is in devil form telling her, Never should've come here. 
starts lifting her into the air and all these dark clouds start forming. Now, if you haven't seen her trailer, it's infused with the power of Azazel. That's why uh, Kazuya is after her. Some dark magic shoots off into the sky and I don't know what is happening. And whole time I'm watching this, I'm thinking, surely someone is going to save her, right? One of the many people with guns or maybe Claudio over there is going to use a, a mystic arrow any day now, any day now. But no, her arm is back to normal and the sky is all black. And Safina is yeeted back to the ground with Jin being the only one on point to catch her. Then they got the nerve to show me Huarang. I'm punching air right now. And now Zafina is holding Jin's hand. But I'll allow it. I'll allow it. It should have been me. But no way they're about to let such a monumental character go out this sad. But sure enough, after telling Jin to go back to his mother's woods, she passes on. I thought Zafina was going to be way more important to the story with the whole arm and amazing design. Look at the progression since Tekken 6. I'm telling you, only Tekken will cook up the most crazy character design just to drop it as a DLC 15 years later. Her entire plotline was to tell Jin some information that she could have sent in the text. That's tough. And you wanna hear something crazy? Now the team is just sitting there with Zafina's corpse, scheming and plotting about how they're gonna get Jin back home. And this whole time, Kazuya is just sitting in the sky, powering up. Can we please run and scheme at the same time? What is Jin doing? Alright bro, chill out. Uh, matter of fact, where were you when your friend was getting cooked? Unhand me, traitor! And after a long period of self-help yaf, finally someone notices the demon in the sky. This man Kazuya resurrected Azazel. Fun fact, I don't think I've ever been able to beat Azazel, but as long as they don't make me f- Well, too bad it isn't Tekken 6 anymore. <laughs> So after putting Azazel six feet under, Kazuya absorbs all of his power and we are going to die. Or we would if Kazuya cared about victory in the slightest. Everyone turns around and starts talking, making plans, having a whole podcast, giving out high fives, and then walking, not running, walking right out of the Colosseum. Now you might think, oh, Kazuya is just full of himself. He thinks he's going to win no matter what. Let Jin walk. Who cares? This man has won one tournament, lost the second one, and was thrown into a volcano. By the grace of the devil, came back and got rocked by a child that he didn't even know he had. Does not get a proper shot at victory for one, two, three games straight. It took that man decades to get back on his feet, and now he's finally back, and he's being stupid. Laser beam Jin right now. Like he had it, he won. The boy is even in a weakened state. What are we doing, brother? Come on! Man, I feel so bad for Kazuya fans. Like, they are flatlining. They haven't ate properly since September of 1994. But look, it's about to get critical. Huawrang runs up just to get stabbed. Alyssa fired a rocket arm. Ineffective. Huawrang then gets flung into her. Lee and that other guy run up. And oh, Lars gets up for the Sasuke, but Kazuya grabbed that no issue. So now we're at the end of the rope. So the team goes for an all out attack, but Kazuya parries all of that. I know he's in his head like, come on, man. That's too easy. But Reyna jumps off of Lars and yeets Alyssa's rogue arm. He laser beams that easy. Thought it was a dub, but she uses the smoke to hit a critical headbutt on the demon. He falls away smiling with that same face. That's his sister. Kazuya must have felt that because he activates his domain expansion, telling her there's nowhere to run. But she's cool. Ain't nobody scared. But she should be because I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. It's over with. But on a second try, I caught that brother in the rage art. Starts giving him the business. Bunny hops. Talks to him like it is the 1800s and obliterates his entire being with a cataclysmic strike. But it's not enough. Kazuya says, well, I'm done. And lasers Reyna with multiple flying crystals and then leads that into an uppercut. I can't take it, bro. Oh, no. Yeah, call her breakfast because she's toast. Kazuya then grabs her by the face and slams her to the ground. Brethren, she bounced. Got her clenching fists and everything. And then Kazuya booms her. But hold on, hold on, hold on. She's okay. She's good, unscathed, and I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it right now. She's a demon, she's a devil. Over here getting right up like a MK character versus the most disgusting X-ray known to man. But in a last ditch effort, Claudio summons some chains around Kazuya and shoots a mystical arrow. It misses. Uh, Claudio died too, but um, where was this arrow when Safina needed it? Like he really just wanted a, a theatrical death. We are not remembering you, gang. <laughs> So apparently, this one little scratch on his shell is a 10 out of 10 on the ouchy wouchy scale. So Kazuya flies away. And I am in absolute disgust. Out of all of these people, you only caught two bodies. Two bodies that could have been avoided with better decision making skills. So basically zero. And you let your biggest threat get away. Look at him. Cool fit. Cool design. F tier. I can beat him. No diff. But back to Jin, right? Xiao Yu and the panda that she broke out of the zoo are taking Jin back to the woods where he grew up. Now all she has to do is drop him off in the woods and let him drop acid or whatever it takes to get your demon powers back in the woods. 
woods. So how do we end up fighting? Like what is with these people and having therapy sessions through fights? Fighting is why this entire universe is messed up in the first place. Two things, I absolutely hate this stance that she does, burn it at the stake. And two, this fight doesn't help anything. She gives some generic, oh go be a good guy speech and Jin is just looking at her. Mewing. June herself has to come back from the dead and hum a lullaby to lure Jin into a cave. He goes in there and sits down on a rock and looks at Xiaoyu and says, I'ma be right back. So while Jin is in the dream realm, all hell is breaking loose. Xiaoyu is ambushed by 7,000 jacks and the bear is nowhere to be found. Now luckily, her unjustified love for Jin is enough to power her through these millions of pounds of scientifically engineered deaf robots. And on the other side of the world, Lars and Lee have recruited the gosh darn Avengers to attack Kazuya's forces. Which is really dumb, you know, like shouldn't we all be in the woods protecting Jin? You left your best chance of survival with a 150 pound schoolgirl. I wouldn't let it happen. I wouldn't go out that way. But I really don't care about any of this. However, the game switches the flow of this uh, semi open world fighter. Kind of like the Devil Awakens mode in Tekken 5 or the Adventure mode in Tekken 6. You get to play as a bunch of the characters, and it's got me thinking like, man, someone really needs to make the next Shaolin monks. A fighter game focused around one or two characters going around doing quests and fighting. That'd be real cool, but that's enough of that. Kazuya gets tired of all the games and charges up a laser booming, and it is straight hit after hit out there. And this idiot, Reyna, stands directly in front of one and takes the blasting. Nobody asked you to do that, game. Everything is on the line right now, and here you are testing your latest tank build. And if you're wondering, yeah, she lived, so, you know, do with that what you will. Lars appears to help Xiaoyu, and the bear is back all of a sudden. No help. I'm just gonna assume that there's a scene that I missed where Xiaoyu told the bear to go get Lars, because there's no way the bear dipped when everything mattered the most. But then, demon devil Kazuya arrives at his ping location. Lars looks up like, man, that's light work. That's light work. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. <sighs> I didn't hear no bell. So Lars hit the self revive. You know, that cut is really awful. It looks like he went to the barber and said, give me 3D waves and walked out with this tragedy. But he has my respect. But then Kazuya starts seeing his father and his brother starts tweaking out. Now Lars is up, but for how much longer? Cut to Jin's consciousness and brother is in there fighting his demons. Literally, literally. He sees his mother lying in the water. Now personally, I'm standing still. She is clearly under the water. She's been drowned. I know my own brain. That is nothing but a trap. And look, as soon as he gets over there, she dissipates. I told you. And then we see devil Jin. now i know he is spitting all sorts of like important plot but peep the drip uh, brother i'm about the illusion he is so so opium head to toe in the all leather dark purple jacket with the gauntlets how does he does it how does he does it he's literally me such an elegant recovery after that foolishness they pulled in second seven i i actually saw comments of people saying that this this washcloth was devil Jin's best fit and it really makes me understand that like we as a species needs to be wiped out fully i understand thanos now Jin starts fighting himself but i i struggle to hit each button because i cannot stain his garb the fight ends with Jin. see bro my scripts are insane what does this what does this sense mean bro the fight ends with Jin being teleported to the tekken what the hell but then we see the section peak then we see devil Jin again but this time he's wearing the og pants with the chains letting the tat to be exposed peak no i don't care what they're talking about because tell me why the fight starts with Jin's boss fight music peak like i can't take it anymore bro like what what, 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 what they got going bro what i'm about to i'm about to so throughout all of these games right Jin's problem has been that he's been rejecting and outright hating himself since Tekken 3 a very very long time i guess when you really look at it uh, just because someone has a devil gene doesn't really make them outright evil kazuya for example there's probably only one time where he was fighting off the devil it seems for the majority of the series that he's accepted it as part of him because he genuinely wants to take over the world and having devil powers makes that way easier and spoiler alert kazuya and Jin lose the devil gene at the end of this game right and kazuya is still hell-bent on killing Jin and taking over the world like he doesn't even second guess it he it is no hesitation but i can't really say if you can use the devil powers for good because no one's ever really tried like everyone with devil powers has been absolutely insane you see what happens to Jin when he turns into a devil he starts doing this but not one game has he actually tried to use the devil powers for himself except for this game at the beginning but even then it wasn't enough because he wasn't fully committed to it which i guess is the reason for the one wing right i'm smart I'm smart, I'm, I'm, I'm the real, I'm, I'm criminal detective. But this whole scene is crazy, like he goes into his head, right? Daps up the devil gene and it basically responds with, Oh, I didn't know you were chill like that. Then mixes with his Kazama blood to purify his powers to give him a white wing and golden eyes. We started World War 3 and all we had to do was just like, 
meditate. So, Jin wakes up and somehow, Lars is still standing and Kazuya wants to change that. And launches a finisher right at him and that brother is not about to take that. He is done. He can't do it. But Jin saves him, daps him up. Daps up Xiao Yu too. Uh, good game, I guess. And follows Kazuya into the sky and they start squabbling, brother. And it's looking like DBZ until they crash into a cave. But do not get it twisted, brother. Just because we got a little, a little power up doesn't mean I know what I'm doing in these fighting games. Turn on those special styles, yes? The fight ends with Jin getting blown back and the devil flying into the sky. Bro starts talking. <laughs> But uh, Kazuya starts twigging. This man summons a whole spirit bomb. And he's about to throw it at this little island that we're on right now, right? But Jin is like, no, I can't let it go down like that. And rushes up there to stop it. And now he is holding it back, fighting for his life. Having a whole interior monologue thinking, geez, all of this power for what? And I still can't beat him. I still can't stop this thingy. But then, Jin, you know what you have to do. I can't. Not anymore. It's not who I am. It's in your blood. This is your true power. Hmm. Then I guess there's no other way. I'm not gonna go out like this. Jin, do something, please. Damn, okay, use that now, use that now, use that now, because he, he's, he, he's out of here. Stop blocking. You wanna wait until your health is real low to start. I want some, I wanna be able to strike the power of God into him. Throw a Bible at him. You're not gonna power up just, 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 for, just for me to go out like this. Stop, 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 Jin. I... In all of my years, I have never seen anything that, that's stupid, bro. What am I supposed to do? Do they, do they want me to hit him? I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll run up and hit him. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run up and hit him. I'm gonna run up and hit him. Okay. 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 So this is just. This is just hell. This is. This is just the the, the actual devil making this game now, bro. I'm, all I'm trying to do is save your soul. Like you just want to fight back for no reason. Like I'm really on your side. Are they serious right now? Are they are they gen are they are they are they genuinely serious right now, bro? Is this what I'm supposed to believe that they are actually serious that they're not playing with me right now? That <laughs> this is the boss fight? Just because you gave me this angel skin does not mean that I I can do this. Let me run. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. I don't know what you want me to do. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so I had to get away. Okay, thank you. It's like, bro, what are we talking about right now? I don't even know how I did that. I just teleported, bro. I don't know how I did that. Bro, you gotta let me know when you're like invincible and he, did he just gain his health bar entirely back? I'm about Bro, they're 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 playing birthday right now, bro. There's no way. Give me my health bar back too then. When do, when do I gain that ability? Yeah, I'm finna spam that. What are you talking about, bro? Get him out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't get away. I can't get away! I'm still alive! I didn't know I was still alive! <laughs> why did it take so long for that to activate? Like, why do I have to get his health down to the bare bones for this to happen? Thank you. Just get him gone. Please, bro. Kill him. Take him to a cliff right now. Oh, man, that's amazing. That's a wallpaper. Deprivation. Domination. Force capitulation. This is what it means to have power. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a wallpaper too. Screenshot that. What's happening right now? Boy, ain't no way. Oh, it's good. That's good. That's good. They're still in space though. So like, hey, we got them both out of there. No more devil. No more devil man powers. No more angel powers. Just regular people.
and bears that can like walk and talk and people can understand it whoa wait a minute wait a minute this is from the trailer this is this is from the reveal bro no it's not over yet it's not it's not over yet damn don't don't let any of this like distract you from the fact that he's done so he's cooked right now okay okay i'm losing i'm losing i'm losing i'm losing i'm losing boy ain't no way i am getting done up like this all right bro we're human now we can't be punching through boulders that's that part of our lives is done i got him whoa since when can you do that oh his stance is different too bro there's some there's some weird going on here bro stop 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 you thought you thought you thought so bad you thought so bad you ain't got no demon powers now bro it's over with i played a lot of Tekken 3 recently bro i know what i'm doing don't worry about it just spam this and you'll be fine don't do it 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 <laughs> you birthed him how many how why is he standing like that why is he standing like that i know that stance i know that stance that's june's stance i don't know how to play june i don't i really don't bro i tried to play her in tekken 2 i got cooked I don't what is that I don't now I'm confused now now I'm illiterate y'all can keep playing me with the with the cinematics bro we got to finish this up bro the timer the timer bro wrap it up it's been 20 some years oh never bro not the first person cam Kratos getting done up to him now get up stop playing with me don't do that don't do that and now you just want to sit here and you want to remember the baddies that they were lost now nah, i just want it to be over i don't want to i don't want to have any more part in it bro just like yeah just let them do this little remembrance thing bro let them have it bro because i i can't i can't do it i i i won't i won't do it bro it's like the seventh time we fought we've done this fight i'm not gonna hold you bro i'm kind of tired of it y'all kind of ruined in the end of the series for me what, what fighting style are we doing right now <laughs> i mean i'm just sitting here getting cooked bro i don't even know what i'm doing right now all right, brother, chill out. Like, thank you, bro. Please stay down. Let, end it. Please end it. End it. End it. End it. End it, bro. We, we've done too much. We've gone a, just a tiny bit overboard. Thank you. You better not. You better not. Thank you. Keep, 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 keep it going, bro. I, I am not trying to go anymore, bro. I swear. I swear. I swear. If, if, if I see more health bars, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop! We have done like 17 final fights now, bro. I don't get what they want from me. Am I at least take half of his health down. At least take half of, half of his... Look at him, this thirsty bot, bro. He's up in the air for what purpose? Just take half his health, bro. Y'all can't... I'm happy, bro. I am excited, but to say they have drug it is an understatement. Oh, here he go down memory lane. Jin! Jeez, bro! Stop! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Somebody had to bow out. Somebody had to bow out. Now pick up his body. Throw him in the t throw him into the water. Because volcanoes don't work. Volcanoes do not work on him. Put him in the water. He'll drown. What did he do with the body? What did he do with the body? Bro, please. Please tell me you did something. Yeah, you're not you're not running away from these allegations anymore, bro. World War Three, you you started that. You are not getting to live a happy life. I'm sorry, bro. I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. <laughs> I'm ruining it. <laughs> okay, but where did Kazuya go? Where did Kazuya go? I know. Where did Kazuya go? There is no way. Tell me something. Tell me something. You left him. This is dumb. This is. I'm about to lose it, bro. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. There's no way, bro. There's no way. There's simply no way. Bro. Oh my god. I didn't know who I was until I put on the mask, Batman. See, you, you adapted the dark, you adapted the darkness. I was born into it. I didn't see sunlight until I was already a man. But by then, it was blinding.